Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Havoc here today with a brand new tutorial. Today, I will be teaching you how to make an intro for your YouTube videos with an iPhone. Uh, let me know guys what you would like to see next in terms of iPhone tutorials. This is going to be a start to a new series, but don't worry, I'm going to be doing all of my normal tutorials. I'm just trying to branch out to a different sector, if you will. Um, but let's get straight into it. The two apps you're going to need are iMovie and Vaunt. I will leave the link to both of those down in the description. All right, so the first thing that we need to do before we open up iMovie is go into our browser and search up something that we will want to use as a background. For instance, mountain wallpaper. And you can scroll down the list. I really like this one. And you can just hold on the picture, add to photos, and there it is. It is added to your photos. So once you have your background successfully downloaded, go ahead and create a project. Go into Movie and go ahead and load in the background that you just downloaded. If you double tap on the background, we can actually slide it over to 8.5 seconds. Make sure key burns is disabled or else your image will be moving as you can see. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in to here and try to change how this image actually looks. Once you're happy with your background, just click done and click on the center bottom button right here and I'm gonna go ahead and save the video at 1080p. Now that it is saved, we can go into Vaunt and click on the hamburger button, load new video, go into Recents and load in your original video right here. So here it is, it's 8.5 seconds, great. Click anywhere on the background and add a text and I'm just gonna go ahead and write out my channel name so the havoc there's a lot of things you can do to make your text look better so if we go into font there are a ton of choices i am going to personally select sue ellen right here and if we go into size we can change the size of our text and if we actually click on the number on the left side we can actually have a more accurate time changing the font size and we can just go ahead and click tilt and I'm just going to go ahead and tilt this at about 8 degrees so that it follows the mountain background right here. And I'm also going to go into style and we can change the text and the stroke. So I'm going to make the text black and I'm going to go ahead and go into stroke, change the alpha, which is kind of the opacity of our outline. So I'm going to change it to 100% width. I'm going to probably change to about 6 and if we keep scrolling, we can click on this hamburger button and there are actually patterns that we can put on here. Since I personally don't want just one color for our stroke, I want like multiple colors um, just to spruce it up a little bit. But I really like this light blue and this kind of white background right here in the center that I'm highlighting. At the bottom left hand corner, there's a button called none right here. And this is your transition button. So for N, I'm going to go ahead and change it to be about 0.6 seconds because you don't want your transition to be too, too fast or too short. It'll make it just look weird. So I'm going to change both of the in and out transitions to 0.6 seconds. I'm going to change the in to zoom out and I'm going to change the out to fade and click done. So if we click the play button, we can actually see what the text looks like and scroll over to the end see what it looks like kind of fades out so that looks pretty good one last thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the text and i'm going to go ahead and scroll over to where we have the curve button right here and i'm going to click this double layer button right here and duplicate the layer right here we're going to go to style switch the stroke to black and click done and we're going to go to size and change the size to 1.75. And I'm going to go ahead and place it just a tiny bit below, but kind of pretty center. And if we click anywhere right here, the other text will show up on top. And that's what we want. We want the illusion of having kind of a backdrop with the additional text. And I think that looks pretty good. So if you can't tell already, our black background text doesn't actually start at the beginning of the video. If we go ahead and just click play, it kind of comes in at, at a later time. So what we can do is we can actually click anywhere. So we want to zoom in to where we can actually see the black text. 
click anywhere onto our black text and actually hold and drag at the bottom right here if we hold and drag right here we can actually move it to the to the beginning of the video so now if we play everything's kind of together but oh no our black outline is on top we can just click and there we are it's all fixed so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the button at the bottom right and go ahead and export if you want full hd it costs money so 720p I don't think that's pretty bad quality and we're gonna want to just copy it to iMovie and go into your last edited iMovie add to movie and there it is if we click and hold onto this clip right here we can just drag it back to the back we're gonna want to click and drag this to be about 1.5 seconds and you can actually see the seconds at the top so if we click on this transition button we can actually click on theme change it to 0.5 seconds and I'm also going to click on this settings button right here at the bottom right and there are multiple different things that we can do we could do playful we could do neon I'm going to do neon so if we click on the background right here and click on the three dots at the bottom right we can actually change kind of the filter so I'm going to change it to blast so it kind of makes it look a little cooler if you want me to do a more advanced tutorial let me know down in the comments uh, but we're we're gonna just basically hit this center bottom button right here once again and save the video once again and we can save it to 1080p and that should save to your photos uh, i hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial like i said this isn't meant to be a super advanced intro tutorial if you would like to see something like that uh, let me know down in the comments but with that being said, it's been your boy Havoc here, and I'm out. Peace.